What's up, Professor D? Callum McLaughlin, video assignment number one. Um, activity based against teaching for learning. So over here, I don't know if you want uh, like specifics, but I went and observed at Tuckerman High School and they were very activity based. Um, you know, there wasn't much instructions going on. It was basically just every day they played a different game. You know, it may be volleyball, maybe basketball, could be kickball. I watched them play kickball a couple times. Um, the professor or the instructor over here, he didn't have any lesson plans. He uh, he was more of a wing it type of guy. You know, he didn't decide or he didn't put much thought into what they're going to do that day. He was, uh, you know, he would ask the kids, "What do y'all want to do today?" And they would say whatever games, and then that's what they would play. Or he would just say, "You know, hey, we're going to play kickball today." And um, so this, basically, it was the adult version of a game. The games were never modified. Um, you know, volleyball played on a normal net, even though it was uh, seventh and eighth grade. They played basketball, they played five on five basketball. Um, nothing was ever really modified for them. And uh, that seemed like the way he wanted it because he never changed it. So another thing is um, he didn't assess his students at all. There was, um, you know, it was just kind of, we're playing to play type of thing. It, he wasn't working on skills with them. He might tell them, you know, like it says, uh, he would tell them some rules if they didn't know it. Um, and then he might name a couple moves like basketball, you know, um, rip through maybe uh, layups and, and turns like that. But yeah, he didn't make lesson plans. Um, there was no skill development at all. You know, it was, if he did give any feedback, it was just a good job, way to go. There was no, you know, positive, specific feedback or anything like that. And um, basically it was all gameplay all the time. Um, you know, like I said, very little instruction. He uh, wanted to play the whole period. Um, there was no modified games to, to get ready for uh, for the main game. Like if they were playing basketball, he would modify it for a normal 5 on 5 basketball game. And over here was at uh, Batesville High School. Uh, he used the teaching for learning method. Um, he did have lesson plans in each, each period. You know, he had a goal of what they were gonna accomplish that day. Um, he used modified games every day, basically, until, you know, uh, I was talking to them about it in like the end of the unit, they would play normal, non-modified games, but um, up to that point, it was each day add a little to, to the modified games to try to get more of a, a normal game setting or feeling. And, um, you know, his whole, he had unit plans and lesson plans, obviously. Um, his whole units had a purpose. They weren't just going there and playing like uh, these guys over here at Tuckerman. Every day they were progressing a little more, working on specific skills, and uh, you know he would give them different techniques and things to work on uh, to help them be more effective. Um, yeah, so over here, you know, the students I think got more repetitions. Um, over here, you know, when you're just playing full games all the time, not everybody's going to want to play. So. Not everybody was as involved as they could have been as we're over here in the teaching for learning method um, at Batesville. You know, with the modified games and the small groups, more kids got more reps and everybody seemed to be more involved and engaged in the class. So uh, if there was a visitor that uh, went in and asked some questions about each, um, you know, as far as activity based, they would obviously see that there's a lot less organization than a uh, teaching for learning method. Um, there's also less interaction amongst the kids because when everybody's playing the same thing all the time, you know, some kids don't like basketball, they're just going to stand on the corner, please don't pass it to me, type of deal. And uh, as far as over here, you can modify it to where everybody can be me, a little more successful. And um, so, you know, over here, I would definitely say there was more interaction. Um, the practices that they may use over here when it's all gameplay all the time, I mean, you have to really you would have to really do things that the students like all the time and to really get everybody engaged. And most of the time, that's not gonna be more than one or two things where everybody's actually involved. And after a few days, that gets boring too. So the practice over here would be the toughest part. Um, as far as over here, the practice, you know, each lesson has a has an end goal for the, for the whole unit plan. So the practice over here would actually be easier, in my opinion. And, um, you know, you can really put more into each day because you have an end goal over here, 
it's just trying to trying to get through the day. So as far as a, a visitor coming in and and um, being informed about how they do things, you know, this one you can sum it up pretty quick. Hey, we just play games. We just you know pass the time. And over here we have goals and objectives and and uh, skill cues, and we actually uh, you know have an end goal, and the whole unit has a has a lesson. So that's video presentation number one. Hopefully you'll give me an A.